So for our supper tonight, I have a uh, pork loin here, and I think I'm going to stuff the pork loin with, uh, I had a little bit of green onion pork sausage that I had left over. I think I'm going to stuff it with that. And I think the way I'm going to stuff it, I believe I can cut this thing. Let's see if it works the way I want it to, to work. Cut it down like that. I'm going to try to make it all the same size here. And try not to cut through it, of course. Because that would just suck. So, uh, you know, something like that. That's good. I don't believe I can make it much more than this, so... I'll just, I'll leave it like that. And we just take the uh, sausage here. I'm gonna try to put all this in it. I, I had this for lunch today and the seasoning in the, in the pork sausage was pretty good so I'm not really going to add much to it. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder to it. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I could probably mash it and all that good stuff, but I'm not doing all that. So to season it, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. On the inside here. Yeah, about like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit of black pepper. And that's about it. So we'll try to see if I can kind of roll this up a little bit. Guess I'll put that in there like that, kind of, sort of. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I believe I'll be able to roll that up pretty good like that. So let me go ahead and tie it. Just get you a bunch of string. The string's pretty cheap, so about like that. And we just start at one side here. And you know, just kind of tie it nice and tight. I guess we'll just kind of push it in as we go here. And basically, you just want to make a bunch of half hitches. So just kind of hold it like this, go around it like that, and come through like that. And I'm just kind of push it in as I go here. Just kind of thinking it like that. And some of the saucers might actually come out, but it's fine, whatever. Don't, you know. That's a lot of sausages I put in there, so I'm sure I'm not going to be able to keep it all in, but I'm going to try. Once it starts to cook, you know, it should uh, it should settle in there. I'm going to try one more wrap here. Just to kind of, just to kind of get it all in there like such and then what we'll do is we'll take it and we'll kind of go around it like this then you got your uh, other end here and we just kind of tie it off right here kind of try to get it in the middle like that and like I said some of it may come out when it's cooking And then for the, the outside of it, I'm going to just season it with some black pepper, uh, a little bit of salt, and some thyme. And 
Yeah, rosemary would be good too. And just kind of, I wipe my my jars off after, just to kind of get them clean. I like that. Then we're gonna continue with the salt. And a little bit more black pepper. And that's it. And I'm gonna just put it straight through and just on one side of it, you wanna hit a little bit of meat. All right, got it in there. I will put this in the air fryer. So there it is. Got it in there. Hit the uh, rotisserie button. And we'll put it for we got to get it to 160 but it the lawn should cook pretty quick so we're gonna do it at uh, 370 for 25 minutes all right so that cook cycle is uh, complete and let's see what our temperature is just kind of go right in the middle uh, looks like it's struggling to get to 100 degrees so we got a little ways to go yet I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the air fryer for so 370 10 minutes and uh, in 10 minutes time I'll check it and see what it looks like and for my side item I'm gonna have me a salad with it and this is just some uh, baby spring mix usually with a salad I like and I just instead of trying to chop it on a meat board, I just put it in the plate, get my scissors, and just kind of chop it a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of a, uh, some avocado in there. These things are kind of expensive right now, so I haven't been buying too many of them. So I usually just kind of cut it in half. like such cut it in little chunks like that and I like uh, when I make it I'm I'm usually pretty pretty basic on the salad I mean I'll take a few uh, cherry tomatoes and just kind of cut them in half And I'll, I really do like feta cheese. This is probably my last little bit up here of feta cheese. Put a little bit of that on there. I ain't gonna add no salt yet. I'm gonna add salt to the table because it'll make the uh, the lettuce and the uh, tomatoes kind of wither. So I'm gonna just add some uh, black pepper to it. And this is some Ken's Greek vinaigrette. It's probably my favorite. This thing is really good. Hard to find sometimes, but Super One, which is where I usually shop at, they uh they usually keep it in stock. So yeah, a couple of tablespoons of that, and that's it. That's gonna be my salad. All right, that was the. Uh, the time ended on that cook cycle so let's see where we stand at now 137 so pork is safe to eat at 145 but any kind of ground meat ground pork is safe to eat at 160 so since we stuffed this with ground pork I want the internal temperature to read about 160 and currently we at 140 so and when I take it out there's a lot of juice coming out so I'm gonna let it go 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna check it all right 
the timer just ended for the cook cycle. And now let's see what we got for the uh, temperature. See, we're a little bit past 160. Right now it's at 165 and it's kind of barely climbing. So I'd say we got a successfully cooked pork roast, pork loin, stuffed with green onion sausage. So before we cut it, we'll just let it kind of sit here for about five minutes. All right. Maybe around five minutes. Go ahead and uh, take the uh, the pieces off. What I what I do is usually remove one side like that. Then you can kind of stand it on end like this, and it should come off. I've got to pull this part out. And we got me a pair of little, some needle nose pliers here. And just kind of grab it and just pull it out. And let's go ahead and take the string off. So let me get that done and then I'll show you what, what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, took all the string off and uh, went ahead and made a few slices on it. Do a little zoom in for you. Yeah, you can see the pork, the, uh, the pork sausage. And let me try to get this one here kind of raised up for you. We can kind of see it better. But you know, it came out pretty good. The... Uh, And I'm going to have this just with a little uh, green salad that I showed when, when I made it earlier. Um, so yeah, that's about it. This is a pork loin. And it's stuffed with a green onion pork sausage. And it got it seasoned lightly with uh, salt, uh, thyme, and garlic powder. So if you enjoy my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.